to my patio, my backyard. We're let, not in the let, kitchen today. Let me explain this. I went to get some breakfast the other morning because I was hungry and I didn't feel like making anything. On my way out, I noticed that our neighbors across the street were throwing this out. It was out in front of their house and by the street. It looks to be what, uh, like a 21, 22 inch TV. Um, I'm assuming it still works because they take the cord up to the top of the TV here like that. I know if I had a TV that didn't work, I wouldn't worry about the cord. I wouldn't True. do that. True. So. It's well, an old Philco. Yes, old, an old Philco. But I've been after Rick for a little while to look into making a parabolic cooker. And one of the ways you can make a parabolic cooker is by harvesting the, um, the uh, parabolic mirror out of old TV set. Lens. Oh, lens. Parabolic lens. Yeah, see. Um, which, so, is, which is the front part of the screen here. Right. So, um, we're going to, you know, go on this journey. And from start to finish, we're going to show you. I'm going to film him or we're going to set up the tripod or something from him taking the TV apart to get the lens to well, actually create show all the that. cooker. Well, it would be that exciting. <laughs> exciting or not, sometimes taking these things apart may be a more daunting task than you think. Yeah. You just don't know. I've never taken apart a television. We'll taken apart a telephone when I was a kid because I wanted to know how it worked. <laughs> but <laughs> did that too. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. This was trash on the side of the road. So, um, and and I see TVs on the side of the road all the time. So this might be a fun project to you know figure out how to do. And uh, in the meantime, at the end of the project, we'll have a parabolic cooker. That'll Hopefully. be awesome. Hopefully. So. But that's not why we really brought you out here. <laughs> we'll, do several videos, so. okay. we'll let you know how it goes. Yep.